See what's going on in your sports community. You're watching Power Play Sports. I think it's great that, you know, Wax is even this big right now, and I hope the years since, you know, the pandemic, uh, I hope it just keeps growing. You know, even for our school, we have a lot of female athletes, and that was always a hard time back when I was in high school. Now we got more female athletes. we got more athletes who are wanting to do this, and it's honestly one of the best sports, especially, like, if you want to, you know, not only become stronger, get more confidence, all these things to help build you up. you got a community. you got your friends, teammates, you, you know, and to see everybody here with this huge, like, I know it's only Wex and everything will only get better after that, but, uh, you know, it's great to see everybody, you know, come together and, you know, do these things. And so uh, how long have you been involved coaching with uh, Laj? This is my first year, so thanks to um, Madame Cole, who's right over there. <laughs> she, because uh, uh, we're actually friends and, uh, you know, we train together and all that stuff. And, you know, she does jiu-jitsu. I train MMA, obviously, and all that other stuff. But, uh, you know, she asked me if I wanted to help. And I'm like, you know, I haven't done that since I got out of Riverside and was helping Mr. Hawkins, you know. So now I'm like, you know, this is cool. I'm just coming right back to it. So it's great to see everybody and all the familiar faces, even from back then when I was wrestling. <laughs> what do you take from your from being coached in your time fighting? What do you take and bring into your, you know, your coaching uh, game? Um, all the stuff that I've learned, you know, from all the coaches that I've been with and, uh, you know, all the gyms I've been with, training with all the people, all the things that I've learned, I'm able to speed up the process for the new up-and-comers and, you know, they're all learning so much quicker and, uh, you know, they're bringing that old school, new school where you work hard with the grit and then you get that new technology of, you know, we can get all this new technique and we become better athletes, right? So that's what we're going for. Do you think this translates into, you know, you as a, as a fighter? How do you think coaching and helping people develop their skills help develop their skills? always mastering the basics right so like even for wrestling wrestling is a big part of MMA so you know even going back to the basic things right from the start from the drawing board helps translate into MMA and you know sharpening up on those basics that a lot of people don't usually do you know it uh, it helps you know correlate into my sport and not only other sports like jiu-jitsu and all those other grappling uh, sports as well right so it really uh, it helps really fine-tune the techniques of everything and then you just become a master of it what's next for you in terms of fighting in, in your future you got anything on the go right now? Uh, nothing yet. I just got to wait for my buddy's wedding to pass and then I can focus on fighting. I'm hoping, you know, late April, early May and uh, whether it's local or at least somewhere in Ontario, maybe Toronto. I don't know. I don't know yet. So we'll see. Awesome. Thank you, Kyle. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. To see more local sports videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel today.